Silva Iwachuchu was found guilty by a jury of first-degree sexual assault in July. Today he stood for sentencing before Judge Mitzi Galis Menendez. His lawyer tried to make the case for a lighter sentence by arguing that Mr. Iwachuchu operates at a lower level of intellectual functioning based on his performance on intelligence tests. And I also mean to us that what took place is a little bit illuminated by the Avenel report and their testing to show that people who are intellectually functioning at the level that's set forth by these tests are not people who we expect to make decisions that a normal person would make. So it's not fair, I think, to, to put him and, and judge him against the standard, intelligent, normally intelligent person and say, that's what a normal, intelligent person would make. You didn't live up to that standard. But the assistant prosecutor argued that Mr. Iwachuchu was competent enough to stand trial and therefore the judge should not lessen the first degree charge down to a second degree charge. She's clearly incapacitated. That's what makes this a first degree aggravated sexual assault. This shouldn't be treated as a second degree sexual assault just because of the evaluation that was done that shows that he has a lower level of functioning. He's competent to stand trial. That should not give him a discount in terms of the severity of this offense. This is a first degree offense. This is the most abhorrent way that this could have transpired, Judge. I'm asking the court, because of the circumstances of this case, to find aggravated factor number one, that this was productive in an especially heinous, cruel, or depraved manner. Judge Mitzi Galis Menendez ultimately sentenced the defendant to 15 years in state prison, and upon his release, he will have to register under Megan's law, and he will be under parole supervision for the rest of his life. Mark Boosunch reporting from Hudson County Superior Court for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.